Bear. It's going to be fun. Well, this morning we're at the El Dorado County Fairgrounds, but it's not for the upcoming county fair. That's right. Today it is all things llama. <laughs> Courtney Dempsey introduces yeah. us to Team Llama. Have you Explain. guys ever been in need of a llama? You know what? Just the other day, and now here it is. How ironic is that? <laughs> you were thinking, I need a llama. I, I need, need a llama. llama. I got a llama for you. <laughs> Team Llama. <laughs> this is Crystal Holt. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Good morning, Courtney. How are you? Good. And this is Mr. Durango. This is Durango. He's a seven-year-old male, uh -huh. and he's the leader of my pack string. Very cool. Now what you do with Team Llama is you guys do advertising, you do, you know, trips to schools and petting zoos. Tell us about some of the stuff that you guys offer. Well, a couple of things that we do. Team Llama offers three programs. Mm -hmm. One is Team Llama at Work, where we actually um, provide a promotional package. <laughs> um, good boy, Durango! Yay! Yay. Um, we actually make ourselves available as a moving kiosk, kind of like a llama sign dancer. Okay. And some of my <laughs> clients up here last year were Thompson's. Uh -huh. um, I had the Downtown Placerville Association. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Harvest Festival, and there were a few more. Okay. We also offer a California standards-based presentation right. for schools, and that's something we're very, very excited about, something we really enjoy doing. Because you get a chance to educate kids about llamas and about animals in general, you know, taking care of them and that kind of stuff. Absolutely, yeah. and the teachers love it, and the kids love it, and we just spread a little joy doing that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's a good thing. Uh -huh. uh, we also have a petting zoo program okay. where we make three of my llamas available for just public display. Yeah. And they have a chance to interact with the people. Again, people really seem to enjoy the llamas. We keep getting asked back for the same events mm -hmm. every year. Have lots Ooh. of letters of reference okay. for those of you who might be interested. <laughs> now, you're actually getting ready to take him and his other two friends, his other two roommates, on a pack today. Yes. You guys pack them up with, with, a, with a whole bunch of gear and go hiking. Tell us about some of that. We do go hiking. Um, last year we, we got through the Crystal Basin and into Desolation Wilderness. Mm -hmm. um, all of my llamas carry about 70 pounds of okay. gear, so when we go hiking we're very comfortable. We have everything including our, our camp chairs, our camp table, good boy Durango, <laughs> uh, our camp table, and of course the appropriate beverages for the right. group. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Now what he does to get to know people is to kind of put his head close to you and kind of sniff you out just to make sure you're okay, right? Is that what he's doing? That's exactly what he's doing. Now llamas, as, as cuddly as they look, they're really not animals that like to be cuddled with. Okay. So if you're a horse person and you'd like to really love on your animals and you're thinking about getting a llama, you need to take that into consideration. Okay. Um, the good news is llamas are very easy to care for. Okay. Um, they eat maybe an eighth of what a horse eats. Mm -hmm. They um, do their business in a community pile, so it makes it very easy to look <laughs> after them. Um, I love it! They're naturally housebroken. Okay. Um, actually, I've had them involved in schools, actually in the school, and we've never ever had an accident, cool. which is really good. Nice. Yes. And you, you clean them with a, with a leaf blower, which cracks me up. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> All right. So if you want to get in touch with Team Llama, we've got a couple ways for you to do so. Uh, in the 530 area code, they're at 676-8085. Again, it's Team Llama. We've also linked their website to ours, which is upn31.com. Just click on Good Day Sacramento and the links page, and you can get connected with Team Llama. And they don't like to be pet on the head, just so you know. You just have to stroke them a little bit on the neck. They're okay with that. Don't get too close, okay? I okay. Is it is llama plural? Is it one llama, two llama, or is it llamas? Is it llamas or llamai? Llama. Actually, yama, because it's a yeah. double L. Yama. So I'm really get confused. Oh. Here in the U.S., we say llama because it's easier to remember, but it's actually yama. Oh, that just complicates yama things. Yama say mama I know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Courtney. Thank you, Neat. <laughs> Which leads us to today. Does it lead us to question. <laughs> Thank you very much. Llama what of catches, the day. What catches your eye when it comes to advertising, Marianne McClary? You know what catches my eye? I would say clever cleverness. You know, like mm -hmm. a clever headline, or like you know we do puns all the time. As and long as it's spelled Nick's right. Nick's always pulling up, you <laughs> know, websites from the New York uh, Post and things like that are, are hilarious. So I like things that are clever. I've always wondered, like people clever. like you, you know, that like to spell correctly. Yes, like people toys, like you. <laughs> toys R Us. I wish that was everyone in this <laughs> business, but when you look at Toys R Us and the R's can't backwards. Go there. It's it hard, me crazy. It? It's hard. It's very hard for me. <laughs> it's a workshop. My mother won't even on. shop at Rite Aid because oh. R-I-T-E. Ah. Yeah. That's why. Say Drives that. are insane. Uh. I understand. It crazy. runs in the family. That's crazy. Abbott. Um, I, in advertising, I'm always drawn to thing with, things with good music, television ads, with uh, nice yes. music behind it, really catchy music, and also the word sale across it. Yes. Oh, yes. Got me too. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Nick? Something that stands out, like this one I saw in the paper today. 
come meet local professional basketball star Mike, Mike Bibby. Does local he play for a particular team? I, is he in high school? I don't is he know. High school? It's for one of the cell phone companies. Why can't they just say King Star? So you notice things are a little bit odd. I think that's odd. I, it, do you think the it's Maloof say, you know, put the Ixnay on the King's Maybe. logo? Uh, Who knows? All right, mm. can't say Kings. Yeah. Local basketball star, never heard of him. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, yeah, I'd have to say cartoon characters like Sir Tupham had here. See, he agrees. Uh -huh. What's up? You know, I mean, what better way to get attention? I mean, look, they're captivated. Right, right here. yeah. And these are, you know, your youngest uh, demographic group here. And they just grow up. Little people. And All someone right. always paying attention to ads, Court? Just say animals. For real, and not just because I'm with the llamas and the sheep today, but really, if I see ads with animals, I'm all over it. Because I like the little furry people. Yes. yes. All right, I'd have to go with the billboards, especially the ones to uh, Davis, the ones on the side there. I say they're a full sentence broken up. Oh, yeah. Over, yeah, yeah like yeah. five billboards. Like, like, like the old Burma right. shave signs. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Very all right. good. All right. Well, that'll do it for a good day at nine. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good Day Live is next. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Take me to the party, 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 take me to